In this video, we are going to take a look at how you can design your own custom header and footer, not using Elementor, but using Gutenberg page builder. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. So we will take a look at how we can build a page like this, where we have a normal looking header, but it is not designed via Elementor page builder, but using native Gutenberg page builder. And if we scroll down, we will have this header as sticky. So we will take a look at how we can design such custom sticky header in our WordPress website with an amazing Gutenberg add-on plugin. So here we are in our WordPress backend. And if we go in appearance section, we have this Nexter WP theme and the theme itself is free. But if you go in the plugin section, it comes with a free extension as well as a pro extension. And once you add this Nexter Pro extension, you see a new option which says Nexter Builder. Now by using this Nexter Builder, we can build our custom header, footer, page and various other stuff in your Gutenberg setup. But in order to have the superpowers of Elementor in Gutenberg, there is two more plugins we need. And these plugins are the plus add-ons for block editor free and the pro version. And all these free and the paid plugins are from the team Posi Myth, which is the brain behind this Nexter builder, Nexter theme and the plus add-ons for block editor. And I have purchased the agency bundle for all these things. And if you want to check out more details about this, you can go on their website. The link is in the video description below. And here, if you check out their pricing plan, Right now, I think they are running their Christmas sale, so that's good for you. And here you have the starter plan for Gutenberg add-ons. But the magic lies in when you get Gutenberg with Nexter theme. Or the best value for money is their agency plan, which is just $69 per site. And that gives you the plus add-ons for Gutenberg. And they also have plus add-ons for Elementor, which is again a very powerful plugin. We will be covering that as well in the future videos. So stay tuned for that. And you will also get the Nexter WP theme. And once you buy this agency bundle or the Gutenberg Nexter bundle, you will get all these plugins from their store. And the setup is pretty straightforward like any other free and pro plugin. And once your setup is done, let me show you how the default header looks like. So this is how a default header looks like. We have just added a simple logo from the theme customizer. Nothing fancy. We don't have any menu as such here. So let's go ahead and design the custom header using the Nexter Builder. So for that, we need to go to this Nexter Builder. And once we click on that, here it looks very similar to Elementor. So all the templates that you will create will be added here. So in order to create a new header template, we need to click on Add New. And that brings us in a Gutenberg editor. So we will name this as maybe Nexter Header. And at the bottom of this page, we have option for Nexter Builder. So let's click on that. And here we need to specify what type of layout or template we are building. So in this case, we will be choosing section. And once we click on that, we get more options from where we can choose if we are building header, footer, breadcrumb or webhooks. So right now we need to build a header. So if we click on that. And now we have more options below this. So what type of header is this? Is it a normal header, a sticky header or a normal plus sticky? So let's go with normal plus sticky. And do you want to build a transparent header? You can turn that on. But in this example, we will make it simple. And below that, we have the display rule. So where we want to include this header. So we want to include this on our entire site. So you can play around with the conditions here. And if you want to exclude it from anywhere, you can enter that as well. But we will leave it for entire site for now. And once that is done, let's go ahead and minimize this. And now we have this blank area of our native Gutenberg editor where we can work all the things around. So let's go ahead and save a draft. So as mentioned before, we are using the plus add-ons for block editor free as well as the pro version. And this gives you a lot of blocks to use on your Gutenberg site. And once we add this plugin, we get this plus setting option here. And here is the plus blocks. So you get all these blocks like the Elementor widgets 
to use on your WordPress website. And the list is very long, so you can play around with all these blocks. So if we come back in this header editor, so first thing is to add a row. So if we type in row, we will be using TP row, that is the plus row. So they name all the blocks with a TP prefix. So let's use this and we need a three column layout. And once you add this single row on the right hand side, if you see that again, it looks very familiar because this looks very much like Elementor. So once again, you are getting the superpowers of Elementor in the Gutenberg itself. So here we have all the options to play around with. So we want this content width as boxed or full width. So we can choose that. If we want to set any height, we can choose that as well. Vertical position, let's set to middle. And after that, we also have a style tab. So here we can add a background color to this. So let's add a little gray shade here. Now in the first column, we will add our logo. So let's click here and then we will search for logo. So once again, TP site logo is the block we are looking for because this one is coming from the plus blocks. So let's click on that. And once again, if we look at the right hand side, we have various options. So the logo normal or dual. So we can have a dual logo which changes on the mouse over. So we will choose the normal logo right now. Let's go ahead and upload an image. So this is the logo image. Let's select that. So now the image is added. We have an option to choose the image size. So if we choose the full width and here we can change the logo width. After that, we also have extra option. So if you want to add a logo URL, so right now we choose home URL. That's how it should be. Alignment will be on the left hand side. And do we want a sticky logo? We don't have to do that because we have created the entire header as sticky. And after that, we also have the advanced section where we can add margin padding, background, and all these things again look very familiar. On the next column, let's go ahead and add a navigation menu. So once again, we click on plus here. We will search for menu. So here is the TP navigation menu. Let's click on that. And once again, on the right hand side, we will select what type of menu it is. We have the WordPress menu. Menu layout will be horizontal. And here we can select what menu we want to show. So if you have already created a menu in the WordPress backend, it will be visible here. Let's choose the menu here. And once again, we have all the things that we can play around with. And after this, we're going to add some social media icons. So we will search for social. Once again, we have the TP social icon. So now we have the social media icons here and we can choose from the predefined styles. So let's select this one. And if we scroll down, we have all the settings for individual icons here. So if we click on Facebook, you can choose the social network. So instead of Facebook, you want to choose YouTube. You can change that. Below that, you have option to add the link. After that, we have the title. So depending upon the style you choose, you can add or remove this title. Here we have an option for icon color. So you can play around with the individual color itself. So I'll keep it as black. And if you want to show any tooltip, you can do that as well. If we turn that on, here's the content for tooltip. So maybe we can write something here, something like that. And then we can change the typography and color of this tooltip. So if we mouse over here, here you see the tooltip is visible. And let's say if you want to change the color. So now we have the red color text here. So this is how it will look. So pretty interesting feature here. All right. So now let's go ahead and publish this header. And let's refresh the front end. All right. So this is how our custom header will look like. And if we scroll down, we can see that the header is also sticky. So on the left hand side, we have our logo, we have our menu, and then we have the social media icon with that fancy tooltip text. And now if we move at the very bottom, we have this default text from the theme. So let's go ahead and replace this with our custom footer. So once again, we need to go to Nexter Builder. So now you see we have the Nexter header template here. So we are going to add one more and we will name it as Nexter Footer. 
After that, we will come down to the next builder settings. We will choose section and this time we will select footer and footer style. So we will choose it as normal and display rule. We will display this on entire website. So almost like what we did for header. And after that, let's go ahead and add a new row. So we will make it very simple. So let's go ahead and add a single row and let's stretch it to the full width. And after that, we move on to the style. Let's add a background color. So maybe a dark gray. And after that, let's go ahead and add maybe social media icons. So let's click on that. We can play around with various styles available here. So maybe we can leave it as it is and just click on publish to see how it looks. So now let's go ahead and refresh this page. And now instead of the native theme footer, we have our custom design footer. So this is how you can get the superpowers of Elementor theme builder in your Gutenberg site by using a simple plus add-ons plugin. And with that, you can build your custom headers and footers and various other things. So if you want to check out more details about this plugin, go ahead and check out the link in the video description below and make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'll be exploring this plugin more to create more such videos. So if you want to watch that as well, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever the next video is uploaded. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.